with Shaw and Keith. I'm Shaw. Keith is traveling today, so I got the wheel. So I want to talk a little bit today about following through. Following through. You know, a lot of you guys, God is giving you ideas. He's giving you books to write. He's giving you jobs to apply for. He's giving you all these different things that he want to bless you with, but you have to follow through. For example, somebody said, hey, got a job opening. You need a job. Apply for the job, I got you. Guess what happened? You don't follow through and apply for the job so you don't get it. So it's a simple thing to do to follow through. For example, basketball players, in order to have a good shot, jump shot, they have to follow through. Cornhole player, in order to have a good, a, a well, good chance at throwing it from one end to the other, you got to follow through. If anybody ever seen cornhole, you know you got to gotta follow through. Jump shot, follow through. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of um, people following through and the different effects that it had. All right, let's go with um, Luke 8 and 22. Let's start with that. Jesus and some of his people said, let us lunch forth to the other side. So they lunched forth. But during that time of them lunching forth, Jesus was asleep. And by Jesus being asleep, a storm comes. And it, and it's just that they're, they're, they're shook. They don't know what to do. Jesus wakes up, calms the storm, says, hey, chill out. Bam, I got it. Just chill out. He calls it. He calls the storm to stop. Boom, boom, boom. They fall it through. So and and once they fall it through, things start to happen. The storm happens. Just like when you guys follow through with filling out the application, writing books, starting businesses, things are going to happen. But Jesus calmed the storm. Boom. But let me tell you about this. If they hadn't followed through. It's two things that they wouldn't have never found out. They wouldn't have never found out, for one, that they lack faith. Two, they wouldn't have found out that Jesus was the manner of man that he was. So once you, once you step out and start following through on what God has asked you to do, you'll see God move in your life. You'll find out things about you that you probably didn't even know. Let me give you another example. Luke, uh, I think it's Luke uh, 22, round verse 44. When Jesus said, hey, let this cup pass, but not your will, not but my will, but your will. He followed through on um, taking the cup, knowing that all these things was going to happen, the denial, the betrayer, his death, he followed through, even though he knew it was some bad things that was going to happen behind it. He still followed through and did what he was supposed to do. So if some of you guys out there don't understand why you can't get to the next step, God is saying, hey, I cannot give you the next set of instructions until you follow the last set. So not following through is keeping some of you guys stuck in a place. Well, God is saying, hey, I need you to just follow through. Just follow through. There's a lot of people's destinies out here waiting on you guys to follow through on what God is giving you. No matter how big the idea, no matter how small the idea, no matter how challenging it looks, you got to follow through on what God is, has called you and told you to do. So my word for today is follow through. Trust God, even though things may happen. Especially with businesses, you know, once you follow through on this business, business, then things start happening like, man, budget issues. I mean, finding the right employees and, and all these other different things. Writing a book. Who am I find? I can't find an editor. I don't know where to start. I'm getting writer's block. Follow through. It's people that are out, it's people that are out there waiting on you. Their destinies depend on you following through on what God has called you 
to do. So my word of the day is follow through. Thank you guys. God bless.